Hello, wonderful readers. It's Adam Williams here, your guide to the enchanting world of picture books. Today we're diving into a timeless classic that has soothed countless little ones to sleep. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown, with charming illustrations by Clement Hurd. First published in 1947, Good Night Moon has nestled itself into the heart and bedtime routines of families for generations. But what makes this simple story so enduring? Let's turn the pages and find out. Historical and Cultural Perspectives Margaret Wise Brown was a pioneer in children's literature. Her approach to writing was unique for her time, focusing on the experiences and feelings of children rather than didactic lessons. Good Night Moon is a perfect example of this, offering a comforting and familiar ritual that mirrors a child's own bedtime routine. In the post-World War II era, families were looking for stability and comfort, and Good Night Moon provided just that. This book's gentle, rhythmic texts and serene illustrations create a sense of peace and security. It was a stark contrast to the chaotic world outside, making it a cultural touchstone for tranquility and safety. Social Emotional Content On the surface, Goodnight Moon is a simple goodnight story, but beneath that is a masterclass in creating a calm and soothing environment. The repetition and predictability of the text help children feel secure, while the act of saying goodnight to each object in the great green room teaches them about closure and the comforting idea that everything will be there when they wake up. The illustrations by Clement Hurd complement the text beautifully, shifting from vibrant colors to softer, darker tones as the story progresses, mimicking the transition from wakefulness to sleep. This visual journey helps children feel the natural progression toward bedtime. Tips for Parents and Teachers 1. Establishing a routine. Use Goodnight Moon to establish a calming bedtime routine. The repetitive text and gentle pace make it an ideal last story of the night. 2. Interactive reading. Encourage children to point out and say goodnight to objects in their own room, fostering a connection between the book and their environment. 3. Discussion starter. Talk about the different objects in the room and why the bunny says goodnight to each one. This can be a fun way to expand vocabulary and understanding of everyday items. 4. Creative extensions. Have children draw their own great green room and decide what they would say goodnight to, encouraging creativity and personal connection to the story. Fun fact! Did you know that Margaret Wise Brown had a habit of writing while lying in a green hammock? Maybe that's where the inspiration for the great green room came from. As always, Thank you for joining me on this literary journey. Remember, there is magic in every book and lessons to be learned in every story. Until next time, keep reading and exploring the wonderful world of picture books. And remember, where there's a Williams, there's a way. To buy your own copy of this book, and to support this channel, click the link below. Do you have a picture book for Adam to review? Email us your suggestion at beastlybanterblog at gmail.com.